We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> so this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now, and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man-child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look, a metaphor in the narrative. I mean, a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory and I know it's just one night and you have to make the most of all your opportunities and yada, yada, yada. I guess I just don't wanna have to settle for what's around me, you know? Abby sees me as this confident person, but really, I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. This is actually kind of fun. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years, we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. 
Then we'll be like 70 year old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as they say, time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. Still warm. Looks like someone was just here. Quoth the raven nevermore. I guess I gotta do this one handed, huh? That didn't sound great. <laughs> oh, shit. is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 180 fuck by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open? the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death. There are literally no right answers. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. there's something up there and it is not gonna make me jump I can promise you that much <sighs> goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore
Whoa, whoa. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, Help, help, my friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident, long story. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. Well, did you hang up? How could I have hung up? I don't know. You know, maybe you slipped and 
hung up or something. Do you know how phones work? Yeah, of course. Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. I did not. <sighs> okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably rig something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. I'm a much better shot than you. You don't know that, okay? I might be an amazing shot. I might be. Just give her your gun. <sighs> Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Am I interrupted something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it.
Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh, shoot, I left my bag. May the power uh, of mayhem right. compel you! That was... Fuck. I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. Oh! How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'll be okay. No freaking Thanks way. Thanks Yes freaking way. Pop, no, pop, no, I, I just pops. helped a little. It was pop, 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 all pop Caitlin mouth. and Ryan. You're here with me. That helps. Oh! Alright, they're off to find a radio or something. Oh! Yeah. What's with the, um... The, oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so... Just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. No freaking way. Yes, I freaking you sit way. Down and Ryan already left. Pop, pop, Stay here. Butter, I'll check it out. Pop, 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 be fine. Just mouth. be careful. Stay alert. Mayhem, have I got some biddies for you? Remington Girl 87, Jed 100. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh! No sign of them. When you find them, run them. And keep me posted, Bobby.
Okay, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like... What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? I'm sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Hey, don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick, I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was gonna happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> You did want it to happen, though. Uh, um, I... You can tell me. Yeah, I... I guess. <laughs> You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay, I got this. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Quick. radio I thought it was just like for your morning announcements oh yeah yeah it used to be more of a actual radio station actually um, uh, you know I mean it is still technically but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore yeah it's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything and you know nowadays Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology. Yes, Give it a Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop oh. them in your mouth. Pop. Something like that could really take your hands off. What is this doing at a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's... It wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then... We would have noticed that, right? Well, whatever it was trying to catch, it can't now. Oh, what in the name of voodoo doo doo is this? That's why Nurse Kelly went home early. Oh, 
Oh, man. I told the kids to look after this. It's three times older than they are. Why the hell did I do that? Huh. All good? All good? This is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay, okay. okay. Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power-up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp and there's been a horrible accident attack some stuff bad here we need your help uh there is a swarm of bears and they are everywhere and there's these hunters too and they seem to be shooting at the bears but also at us um which is not good and a few of our friends are hurt and um we are in desperate need of help so please I mean, there's vicious bears and uh we don't know what to do so please uh, come help us, SOS. Uh, this is uh, an emergency. S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh my god. All right. I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Check it. Wait, did he, did he say lodge? I don't know, huh? Two males on the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um, out. 
can't be sure they were talking about us. Uh, I don't know. I, it really, really sounded like they were. But that's... That's not possible, right? Oh, shit. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Okay, let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Ah! Oh, what? What? Why didn't you tell me that there's something out there? I I I wasn't sure, man. Fuck! What the fuck was that? I have no idea. What is that? Brian. Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, just get into a cabin now. Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Anything we can do. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off. Uh. Well, it, yeah. I mean, if it if it has hearing like a dog, maybe it, we we can play like a like a really high pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but you know. Do it. Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah. Right. There's something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh, crap. I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Now, go, quickly. Uh, 
<laughs> Are you sure? Yes, fucking do it! Fucking do it! No. Get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. Oh, oh. The, the thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thingy. Oh, keep pressure on it. Ah. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. We blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, right. oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Oh. Oh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. Is it safe? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Tell him what happened! Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I'm not. Um, but it's it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit! Uh, Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Jacob! Emma, is that you? Fuck. Yes. I don't want to fall off this. Well, that bodes ill.
fucking hell. Maybe there's something on here. Jesus Christ! Oh. Oh. oh, 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 fuck my life. Okay, you scared me. Jacob. You okay? I guess you could call it that. Oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? don't be a dick! You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear! No, you're right, you're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. What? Look, don't ask. That fucking thing bit me, dude. Really need Caitlyn to look in it. I... Wait, it bit you? That little scratch? Oh, I, uh, could have sworn it was much bigger before. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Hey, I'm trying to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good by myself. What? I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall in love with you just because you're my knight in shining armor. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you set this all up. Oh my god, what?
Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man, poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Why would anyone want to shoot Kaylee Hackett? Should we call someone oh, or? Fuck, Chris. How are we gonna tell Chris? Nick, what are you? You. Hey! Come here, huh? Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off! Ugh, watch out! I said get off! Get him in the pool house. Dry him off. Just try to rest. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. so much it's pretty clean from what I could tell I mean it's not bleeding but you need to see a doctor look this is all I've got left from the nurse's station Ooh, fun. Oh, oh. better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off we need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police yeah dead girl in the pool needs some explaining huh Easy, man. I mean, like, photos. Whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not gonna want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? The place was so different, like, 12 hours ago. I wonder where Caleb is. Here. That better? Thanks. 
Hey. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Ma'am, have yeah, I got I some bitties for you? Not just, not just getting wet. This was like, Remington like my cat in the bathtub. 100. <laughs> you woo. Yeah. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? N Nick. Please, just tell me. Oh! I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. Oh, that's such a... Oh, such a... It's such... What? It's such a cop out answer. <sighs> Abby? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? Nick, I do like you. No, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God, I sure know how to pick up. What? You're not really very smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I... <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, Abby! Uh... Abby, everything okay? Holy shit.
Oh! <sighs> okay. So, if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go... the lunch. Only one left. Hmm. Ryan's stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. have done this. I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast, that's it. supposed to know. I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh. Oh. Doesn't feel safe. Abby? This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, let's not, um... You know, let, what are we gonna do? We're fucked. We're, we're really fucked. We don't even know what's out there. Hey! Oh, 
shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Go let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Okay, I'm gonna open the door, slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Eat shit. When I say name, you give me your name. Do I make myself clear? You've got my license, can't you read? I am an officer of the law. I need you to do as you're told and answer the goddamned questions. I don't care what you are. You can't hold us like this. This isn't legal. I want a lawyer. Stop! You need to shut your mouth and listen to me or there is going to be a problem. Do we have a problem? I guess that sheriff's badge doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't believe in the law. Excuse me? We didn't do anything. You locked us up. Explain that to me. Lady, I don't think you have any idea what kind of shit you just stepped into. There is shit, and then there's shit. Please, will 
you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Break right now! Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Fuck. Max, screaming at him is not going to help. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I... I don't know. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and... stuff... everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher? The blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's get the fuck off! Come on, move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Hey! Leave him alone! Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Hey! Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting it! Hey! There's gotta be something in here you can use. What's this? Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. 
As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Shit, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade cab. Really, though? No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. What happened? Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, he, uh, pop them in your mouth. Pop. He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we we're going and how, Man, why and how I was have feeling I got this morning. Some and for you. I don't know. Remington girl, eighty-seven. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling. Yeah. Why he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Like, some kind of setup. A, a, a trap. I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? They knew we were coming. Maybe it's... some kind of kidnapping, extortion... conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know, what if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. 
Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Stop. Come on, lighten up. Yeah, easy for you to say. What? Can't you ever accept what's happening? Sometimes shit is just shit. And not everything's some challenge for you to overcome. Uh, actually, yeah, it is. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I... I was embarrassed. Wait... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max! What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Uh, maybe something like, sorry I lied to you and led you on into thinking we were going to college together in the fall? That'd be a good start. You see, I knew you'd be like this. Oh, fuck that! No, you lied. Just suck it up and apologize, or this is gonna be one long-ass incarceration. Okay. I'm sorry. Happy? Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies? Aliens? Time-hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah? Shut the fuck up. 
You let her finish, man. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max, we just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. I'm not gonna be nice to this fucker one second longer than I have to. We've got to escape. Cool, okay. So how? I don't know. Knock him out? Not... Laura, you know that's kind of a movie thing only, right? I mean, you bang someone on the head, you're more likely to kill them or leave them with permanent brain damage, not just knock them out. Well, what can you do? Yeah. Right. Prison break it is. Can we have code names? If we're doing code names, I have dibs on Golden Thunder. No, seriously, Max, we're doing this. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down and take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right, okay, that's not really a plan though, you know? That's just kind of saying let's escape but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now, we'll catch him in the back foot.
Come on. Now. Ow! Ow! Careful! Really? Careful! Ah! 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 Really? Genius. But what about my shower? Shit. I said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Ah! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Depth perception.
Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. What's he hiding? Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. So much a hint as a slap in the face. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? We've got unfinished business. Like what? Like how you're gonna tell me exactly just what the fuck is really going on here. Why would I do that? Because I could be halfway home by now. But I'm not. Because I have to help Max. Maybe I can help you, too. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me, too. I'll brew some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. <laughs> nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean... Harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. 
We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. And if, if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know, but it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so, I'm, I, I was, when I- Straightforward? I, no, yeah, it's so not, you... they're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you too. You're not telling us everything. I'm telling you everything you need to know. I don't believe you. But what if killing ain't an option? What if you had to use science? Use science. Just like that. Oh, genius. Wait, I'll set an 80s montage going. I'm serious. I think you're desperate. You're drunk. <laughs> and you I'm couldn't help but let your dirty little secret slip. Use science? What a load of bullshit. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. 
I don't want to believe him. But I don't have a better explanation. I'm just not sure. It's, it just doesn't add up. Hey, who knew we get to star in our very own terrible horror movie? Well, speak for yourself. I think I am pretty well cast. <laughs> well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It's not like you could have done anything to stop it from happening. It's not like you're in control. Right? Right. Yeah. And you're not in control? Of course not. Fuck. Laura, what are you saying? I'm just trying to make sense of it. That's all. I didn't mean anything by it. Jesus. He said, let me in there. Chris. I know they're in there. Who? The counselor that didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. I fucking bit one of them, Chris. What was I supposed to do? What was that? You shot me. I'm telling you, don't you like stars of wisdom, so shut up. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh. Laura! Uh. Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura! Up. Get up. You picked the wrong night to fuck with me, kids! Not so fun on that end, is it? Back the fuck up! Give me the keys. You don't have to do this. Shut up. Keys.
Please. I really don't want to shoot you. Okay. Okay. Fuck. I never knew you had it in you. Yeah, you did. <sighs> Come on. Laura, please think about what you're doing. You're not so tough. Why don't you take some time? Think about why you're in here. Sorry. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone thinks he's here. No, I, I still can. It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> no, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry and we're ending this. Tonight. And I made my way here. To camp. Left Max. Ma'am, have I got some biddies for you? Remington Girl 87 cheered 200. 